Hello, my name's Michael Keneally and this video is about the winter solstice 2019 and I'm filming it in the beautiful west of Ireland where we live and uh, the ritual for the winter solstice has actually just been shared because a new Druid group has started up serving the northwest of Ireland. It's led by Tracy Jean Yapper or Tatty to her friends and if you wanted to get in touch with her, her email is in the blog post associated with this video. And the Druid group is actually a seed group associated with Obod, the, or, the order of bards, ovates and druids. And just to say that most unfortunately Tati was unable to attend herself because of a knee operation, so we wish her totally well in recovery from that. So, the first part of the winter solstice ritual was celebrated at Creevy Keel megalithic tomb just north of Sligo and we were so pleased to have experienced that and if you look in the blog you'll see photos of two megaliths two great stones one of which when we like, put our hands and foreheads against it gave many visions really of the people who buried their beloved dead between 4000 and 2500 BC and who in fact, as DNA research has shown, came from southern Turkey, how they lived, how they came here in their boats, how they lived as Ireland's first farmers and how they so valued the high energy rocks that are in this area and that's why they came here and that's why they built the Creevy Keel megalith and so many of the other megaliths from these high quartz rocks. So it was absolutely lovely to do that earth energy rocks and we then went for the second part of the winter solstice celebration to the remote and utterly beautiful Glenif Horseshoe Valley. And actually I'm writing a novel which is sort of based there called The Morrigan and the Dagda. And I'm learning so much at the same time as I'm writing it and it's wonderful. And that is the most impressive remote valley carved out by a glacier at the side of Ben Bulban Mountain. And there we read the Obot Winter Solstice Ritual. And perhaps the key moment was when we acknowledged the death of the old sun and the birth of the new sun. And at the point of the death of the old sun, well, each of us had come with black ribbons round us. And we voiced at the reference to the old son dying, we voiced the things in our life which must die now, that we want to die now, or that are dying now. And at that point took off our ribbons and discarded them and left them at the ritual site. And then went on to voice and embrace the new things that we knew of that are coming into our life now with the birth of the new son or that we want to come into our life with the birth of the new sun. And it's so powerful that the winter solstice occurs at the same time as the sun transiting galactic center with the huge energy burst that so many felt at that time. See my other video and blog in this series associated with my 2020 January newsletter Star Wheel Astrology and Healing Newsletter. And it's so wonderful too that it comes at a time when a consciousness shift is being offered to all of humanity. And that doesn't mean to say that we won't have to face challenges ahead. 
But it does mean that if we're open to these energies, we will perceive the challenges better, go through the darkness, the fear and the shadow more capably, and emerge at a higher energy and spiritual vibration from each challenge. And so it was so wonderful to actually enact that death and rebirth at the Druid Winter Solstice Ritual. So below this video in the YouTube write-up is a link to the Druid Forest School Druid Group page. And if you, you know, live in Ireland or come to Ireland over the summer or whatever, you can get in touch with Tati and find out more about our very sound and wonderful work. So get well soon, Tati, and thank you so much for the group.